up everybody uh, I'm gonna do a little video here to explain how to get the wheel bearing off of a 2012 Ford Focus uh, I did it yesterday and I was gonna do a video but the weather wasn't perfect and now it's raining it's like really really windy so I'm just gonna explain kinda give you an idea of how to do this uh, I wasn't gonna do this and take a video of it because there was just too much stuff that you had to <laughs> take off and it's uh, it's not it's not difficult it's just a pain in the ass it's it's easy but it's just it's just time consuming so basically um, when you when you take off your tire uh, you you'll have your 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 drum and it's gonna it's gonna go over right here and then once you take your drum off this is what this is what you see from like 2000 we'll say 2000 2011 there used to be a center bolt here with the center nut and that's where the bearing bolted up to that's no longer there anymore so it's kind of hard to see but it's it's just cast iron in there and it's just hollowed out so what you have is this right here um, you have a sensor right there and then you have these four bolts and these bolts right here are a six that's a 10 millimeter six point bolt and it is not easy you have to take out the strut you have to disassemble the pretty much the whole rear end to actually get to it without stripping any bolts or anything like that safely so and it's all like this and there's really no room to get to it unless you gotta take you really have to disassemble almost the whole rear end to get to it everything has to come off to get to it so first what you want to do is you want to unplug this and then what I what I wind up using was a breaker bar uh, don't use a nut driver or anything any kind of driver or nothing air compressed because what you're going to wind up doing is is you're going to wind up stripping the head off these and good luck if you strip one of these out good luck getting it off you're going to you're going to basically have to take the whole drum completely off and that is a shit ton of work if that's something because you're going to have to you're going to have to get this whole thing off to in order to take it out so don't use anything like that just use a breaker bar and a 10 millimeter six point socket and just slowly take it off just don't put a lot of force behind it just gradually break it loose and go slow with it because you will you will strip this this is i mean these bolts are the, the heads are kind of small so it's you know they're aluminum it's aluminum head so they're not very strong so just be really really careful and it's a 10 the heads are a 10 millimeter so that's basically how you do it and then it comes out real easy so I mean other than that I just wanted to I, I was looking on YouTube to try to figure it out and because uh, the wheel bearings on this one is completely shot I don't know if you can hear that but I mean it was the it was a roaring roar you couldn't hear shit inside the car. I mean, it sounded like a damn diesel. And it's a, it's a 2012 Ford Focus. This Focus has 60,000 miles, and the bearing already went out. I, mean, I just, I couldn't believe it. So, I mean, it was only like each, uh, I wind up replacing both of them because you replace one, you might as well replace the other one because... I mean, in my opinion, it's just worth it. You've already, you've already, I mean, you've already done one, and then, you know, if you don't do it, then it could go another 10,000 miles, and then you got the same problem. So, might as well just do both of them. I mean, so that's what I did, and it worked. That's that's what it was. It was the wheel, the wheel bearing. A lot of people will tell you that it might be the tires, that you need new tires. Uh, my personal opinion, I think that's uh, bullshit, uh, and it, it, it could be your brakes, too, uh, the... The shoes still got a little, they probably got about 15 to 20,000 miles left on them. So I know it wasn't the shoes or the brake pads or anything like that. And then when I took it off, it was just, it was like a grinding, a real bad grinding noise. So right away I knew, I knew what the problem was when I took the drum cover off and I started turning it. I knew right away what it was. And uh, this one came off the passenger side. The one on the driver's side 
was still okay. It was kind of making like a little, like a ticking, clicking noise. So you, you can hear like some metal on metal is what it kind of sounded like on the inside. So that one was on its way going out. It wasn't as bad, but this was a major problem right here. So just be careful. You got to take, I mean, you got to take pretty much everything out to, to, cause it's on the back and you, you can't see shit. Like you really can't see anything. So the, really the only way to, to do it correctly, I mean, everybody's going to have their own ways to do it, but to, in my opinion, do it correctly, you know, the right way is you got to take the strut out. You got, you know, disassemble pretty much. You got to take, you got to take everything off just, just to get to it. So it, it was, it was, uh, it was a lot of work, but it needed to be changed. I mean, if it's not working, fix it. That way, you know, don't let it go to where you got bigger problems. But anyways, I just want to share that with y'all. I couldn't find anything on YouTube about, uh, about these. And from what I'm hearing, that it's a common problem for Ford Focuses. So if you're looking for a, uh, a vehicle kind of like the size of a Ford Focus, don't get a Focus. We've had numerous problems with this damn car. We bought it new in 2012 and the cruise control randomly works, the radio randomly works. It's just, it's, it's a piece of shit in my opinion. And I'm, I love Ford. I, you know, I've always dr driven Ford, but yeah, we're not going to keep this focused very long. We'll probably wind up getting, uh, probably, I don't know what we're going to get, but we, we're definitely not going to keep this car. I and mean, the car only has 6,000 miles and we're running into all these problems. You should not run into all these problems. So we'll see what happens. But uh, anyways, just wanted to share that with everybody or anybody that has a 2012 and, you know, they're not really sure how to take the wheel bearing off. That is how you do it. So thanks for watching.